All right, good morning everyone. I'm Rhonda Meyer, I'm owner of Rhonda's House of Wellness and Fitness, and this is day three of the five-day workout challenge that we're doing. For people that are at home and they want um, an exercise program that they can do with no equipment whatsoever. So welcome from the Northeast Kingdom of Vermont. Um, we are in lockdown here, but we are very happy and cozy. So hope everyone is doing well. So um, Megan Bouchard is gonna be demonstrating this and I am going to coach her through this. So ideally it would be um, great to do 10 rounds of this workout, which includes just five exercises. Um, if that feels like it's too much, then you can do five rounds or maybe five rounds in the morning, five rounds at night, or just do five. So work within your ability. And here we go, Megan will d demonstrate this. All right, so the first exercise that we're gonna do is rolling pattern. And it may seem really simple to do, but it really is challenging. So lie down on your back, and then you're gonna lift one arm up, cross the body. You're gonna look at the hand with your head and eyes, but you're not kicking off of the floor. All right, and then lift the arm up and follow it, and then don't kick off of the floor and roll back. So you're gonna do that five times with your arm, five times with your legs. So the leg lifts, crosses over the body, roll over onto your stomach, and, and then lift it up, cross over, and go onto your back. So five times with the arm, five times with the leg, and then switch the sides. Um, <clears throat> and then next up will be Turkish get up. So get into fetal position, and then roll over onto your back. Good, right arm is straight, left leg is straight and roll to your elbow good then hand and then hip and then knee and then stand up step together and go back the same way knee hand leg hip elbow back fetal position and do it that slow and stop at every increment um, all right, so that will be um, 10 times on each side, no weight. And now we're gonna do 90-90 breathing. So find a wall or a door. <clears throat> so you're gonna get your butt close to the wall. Feet are gonna go against the wall or the door. So here I want you to torque your feet against the wall and that will activate your glutes and your hamstrings. To make this a little bit harder, you can lift your hands off of the floor and now take a breath in, breathe out and slowly lift up, hold, and now lift one foot off of the wall and now take a breath in, long breath out, and then switch legs. Take a long breath in, long breath out, keeping the hips level, Put the foot against the wall, slowly come down. So that will be 10 repetitions, that counts as one. All right, and now Bulgarian split squats. So find a couch, a chair, um, put your back foot on that. Good, so you can lie the foot down or you can go onto the ball of your foot. And now think about your back knee going down towards the floor. Good, keeping your upper body straight up. So shoulders over the hips, legs are at 90-90, back leg and front leg. All right, good. And if that feels too easy, then arms behind the back and squat, good. If that feels too easy, hands behind the head. And again, if that feels too easy, arms up. Good, so that will be 10 reps per side. All right. And then the last one will be tricep push-ups. So this is really challenging. So start with your legs straight like you're in push-up position. Good, and arms are nice and close. Elbows stay close to the body. Breathe in as you go down towards the floor. Good, and then push away. So you should feel that in the back of your arms. Good, do that again. Good, breathe out, push, all right, and then if that feels too hard, drop to your knees and do it from there. Bring your hips down with you, no butts up in the air. All right, so if you can't complete 10 repetitions, then just do as many as you possibly can and then stick to that number for the full amount of rounds or circuits. All right, there you go. Have a great day, everyone. Thanks, Megan.